Hey guys, what's up? I'm Y4Y4 and today I will be bringing you a video on my recommended setup for close range maps. Now this is going to be completely GP and versatile for everybody on pretty much any close range map from Junk Flea, Junk Flea 2 to Vertigo. Vertigo is a little bit longer range but it's, it would still work there. Um, but yeah, just any closer range map. So what you want to do is get a military bandana or cowboy hat. These are plus 5 speed. From there, you want the anti-flash goggles, which are plus 3 speed, or any other thing on the face that's plus 3 speed. So you want plus 5 and plus 3. If you do have a Cyclops bandana or a Prankster bandana, do something like that, but I'm trying to go full GP guide, but try and get as much speed as possible. From there, you want to move on to the vest, and if you have a recon vest, definitely use that, but if you don't, use the light vest, because that is GP as well. And from here, just get a standard backpack. So what I recommend to be one of the best setups is bring two submachine guns for a short range. Um, maybe a more spraying submachine gun like the P90 so you can purchase that in the shop. Make sure you buy just a regular old P90 or you can get the SE. Um, but a P90 is very good and it's definitely GP. From there you can also bring a second weapon, well you're gonna bring a second weapon um, really your choice I'd choose another kinda just maybe a little bit more accurate than the P90 and maybe less of a spray weapon so something like a UMP or even an Uzi metal that I think uh, I don't know anything you want just two submachine guns I'd recommend P90 being one and UMP being another or Uzi metal being another um, and then, oh, MP5 RAS is also pretty good. So from there, we go MP5 RAS and Uzi Metal, just because I don't want to buy a P90. Um, make sure your pistol is either a USP or G18 Chrome or whatever, the, the G18 whatever, or an alien gun, but I'd recommend USP. That's pretty decent. Uh, M9 is fine, and support frag is fine. You can get a frag pack if you like, um, but I'll just not do that for this video. So, on a short range map, obviously, you're gonna have a lot of chance to spray people down. He's pretty far away, but your goal, your strategy, is just to get as close to people as you can and just spray them like that. Um, be sure to be accurate, and you know, it doesn't hurt to try and aim for heads. Uh, you see, I just did that right there, and I completely failed, and he has a P90, so he's able to spray. But I'm able to get their heads, and that is beneficial to me. See, he's a little bit further away, but I was aiming towards the upper part of his body. Um, so with this, make sure you have your abilities enabled so you can get health packs. I wasn't able to get that there, but this was just a really quick guide. Um, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, I was just trying to show you guys something good. If you guys would like... If you're more of a sprayer, get a PP-19, perhaps. I forgot about that at the time. Um, I just failed right there. But you can also go with a utility backpack as well, and you're going to suffer for speed-wise, but you will be able to spray even a little bit more. Um, and I'd also recommend extended magazines, because right there I was almost out of ammo. Like, I came down to the last shot. So I'm going to stop dying and I'm going to end the video here. This was just a quick little guide for short range maps. I think I'm going to be, well that was through the wall, I think I'm going to be doing more longer range map guide for GP users. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. This was recorded with my new microphone. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I will see you guys in my next video.